Shelly with the show. I, 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 ladies, hold on, everybody. I'm so sorry. Hold on, please. I've got to read to you. So I posted the clip from the show with Phil Holloway talking, right? A friend of mine comes on a page saying, oh, every time your guy comes on, he said, this is the nail in a coffin, and it's a nothing burger. But two months ago, they said they weren't seeing each other. Ashley Merchant filed a motion on a Friday saying we have evidence that they're seeing each other. Every single political pundit went on radio, went on television, went in the newspaper and said this is just not true. It's salacious. Then it comes out that it was true. Well, no, we were seeing each other, but it was after I appointed him. Then they got on a hearing. This is all the progress of a nothing burger. Then it got to the point where they said, well, we were seeing each other, at, but it was after I appointed him testimony you just heard it you want to hear it again i'll play it again for you i'll play it again for you let me play it again for you hit it again for me kobe here it is this is them on the stand under oath i have gone to a condo in hapeville okay so hapeville yes ma'am so you have gone to a condo with miss willis in hapeville i have have you spent the night there never 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 okay here's a cell phone Showing that you got there at 11 o'clock one night and stayed to 4 o'clock in the morning. That's staying the night. Your wife can't do it. I can't do it. That's staying the night. Think about it. I'm not even going to argue that. But here's what my friend said to me on social media. And this is what you're going to be reading. And this is why this is all. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. <laughs> That's my phone. Sorry. Um, uh, so, so, But here's what he said to me. He said, just because a visit. A visit, sorry, a visit doesn't constitute seeing each other. A visit doesn't constitute seeing each other. Let me tell you something, my friend. This is my friend Daryl Singleton on Facebook. I want to say something. Because what he just said is a lot of people are saying. When Georgia followers on Twitter dropped uh, the, the story from the AJC about the um, the cell phone uh, towers and geofencing, a lot of the first comment that was put up there was by a woman. Uh, her Twitter name was uh, um, reclaiming my time. So you know what she what size she comes from. She said, "And let me tell you, you stay at somebody's house from ten o'clock at night to four forty-five in the morning. It's a booty call. And if you're being completely honest with yourself, you know what it is." Because if your daughter stayed at a guy's house from 10 o'clock at night to 4.45 in a.m. in the morning, you'd say, baby, what were you doing? We were just doing homework. It's a booty call. It's a booty call. The crazy part of it, you know it's a booty call and just a booty call. You know why? Because he left. Because he left. Every man listening to me right now, will tell you, when you get up out of the bed of a woman you're sleeping with at 4 o'clock in the morning and you got there at 10 o'clock in the morning, you see her for nothing more than booty. Booty. You're not serious. You don't lay around and cuddle. You don't spoon. You get up, chop, chop, put on your cloak, put on your clothes, and you give it a courtesy, oh, baby, I made it home, just to show you halfway care so you can come back for the next booty call. Just because you stay overnight doesn't mean you're seeing each other. Come on, man. Come on, people. We know what it is. We know what it is. I've been on this planet Earth a long, long time. And I was single and not married more than I was married and 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 and, and in relationships. When you show up to a woman, I've had women in my life tell me, don't call me after 10 o'clock, because I ain't that type of girl. And women listening to me right now know exactly what I'm talking about. How many men have you told, don't call me at 11? It's 11 o'clock. What you doing calling me? We ain't like that. We don't, we don't get down like that. They say that. Real women say that. And real men know not to call 10, 11 o'clock at night. And it's only a booty call when you show up at 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night and you're out before sunrise. You're smashing. You want to use the young people's terms. And to say anything else about this, what the cell phone data says, means that you're just purely partisan and you want you hate Trump and the Republicans that bad and you're mad to death that you're losing right now because you know what it is. And he's not a married man. He's going through a divorce. So it's, 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 this relationship was done. So I'm, 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 I'm not mad at him. But let's not act like it's not what it is. It's craziness. It's a booty call. 
She broke him off a million dollars. A man didn't have enough respect for her to stay to the morning and get some breakfast together. You couldn't even get up and scramble her some eggs. She just broke you off a million dollars. If the relationship started after November, you're making millions of dollars. You're making hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're traveling together. You can't stay till sunrise. You can't stay till 6 in the morning. I wish I would. I wish I would. Get up out of my uh, the bed uh, 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 of AMAC at before 6 in the morning talking about I got to go home. I never, she'd never let me in that house again. I don't care how serious we are. That's a booty call. She knew it, he knew it, and it was all good. And then she says on the stand, that was the loneliest period of my time. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was the loneliest point of your life. Dude was leaving at 4 o'clock in the morning. He was getting there, getting some food. I'll tell you exactly what went on. Get there about 10.30 at night. Pours you a little glass of wine, maybe gives you a beer, maybe pours you a drink. She likes Grey Goose. Probably she has, she has some leftovers from the night before, some dinner from lunch. Probably had a nice lunch. She's the DA of Fulton County. Probably had some good soul food. Mix you a little plate. Heats it up in a microwave. Y'all sit around and chat a little bit. Smash, smash, smash. Doze off for a second. Wake up at 445, get in the car and drive home. That's called a booty call. So Shelly went to show. We'll be right back. 